Okay, so I was out of town for a while, and I have a lot of things to upload, lots of information. I would like to begin regarding uh, speaking regarding uh, human programming that's happening throughout the world and uh, very, very prevalent in Canada. I'd like to mention also the uh, ministry in uh, Toronto, Christ Forgiveness. Uh, the pastor there, street preaching evangelist, was, uh, was uh, jailed for preaching the gospel. And the Holy Spirit reveals that that is also, that's human uh, programming and what it's doing. It is, um, it's, it's forming the agenda. It's forming the um, prophecy, uh, the New World Order. It's, it's forming society in a way, uh, it's like a Mad Max type of vision that, that society has. And um, for the future, it's the New World Order of Lucifer, Satan, the devil. And what it's, once again, in Peter's uh, chapter 1, verse 4, says that it's time for judgment to begin with the household of God. So if the judgment begins with us, what will happen to the ungodly person? For if the righteous man is scarcely saved, what will happen to the unrighteous? God is going to put his uh, judgments uh, on all those who, uh, the Bible says in Jeremiah 30, 16, and Zechariah 11, 9, whoever, those who persecute the covenant, they themselves will be persecuted. Um, they themselves will be devoured. And that's what's happening. Society is actually devouring itself. And when, when they persecute the covenant, the condition of humanity gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And that's what we're witnessing throughout the entire world. Uh, the darkness comes in because... Uh, the world prefers the darkness rather than light. I just wanted to mention that. So uh, God wants us to stand firm, and God wants us to um, uh, to continue in the full armor of God, in the full resolve that the Holy Spirit has given us to do, to express, to have, to be the light of the Lord Jesus Christ, to shine through the darkness as witness and as testimonies. Uh, God said in His um, through Isaiah, Jesus Christ said, "You know what else could I have done with my vineyard that I haven't already done?" So God wants the gospel completely preached, and then the end will come. And that's our job. Our job is to be as, as, as wise as serpents and as blameless as doves before the sight of God, not in the sight of humanity. Okay, that's very important for us to understand. Now, I would like to speak regarding human programming, also um, what the Holy Spirit revealed to me and showed me uh, through my through my experiences in life, first of all, you have this one video that I'm going to show you, and I'll show it that to you right now. Uh, this is a sign that uh, the um, that they, they put in parking stalls in parks. Okay, uh, take a look at what what this says. This is, this is another sign of uh, mind control. It says, "Please lock your vehicle and remove all valuables." Okay, please lock your vehicles and remove all valuables. That sign is human programming. Okay, what they do is they put those signs of um, to be watchful of your personal possessions because there's thieves all over the place and there's nothing we can do about it. They're going to steal your things. And what that sign is actually saying is saying that, you know, you are trespass you are walking, you know, in our pres uh natural preserve. You're walking in the garden of Eden. You're not allowed to to uh to take anything, to salvage anything. You're you're, you're thieves if you come here uh to gather anything, to take anything out of this park that is not yours. It's all subliminal human programming. And it's also uh, playing on the emotions of, of humanity. It's keeping humanity afraid of having their possessions stolen. And it keeps humanity in a shell. You see, it keeps them boxed up. And it was extremely prevalent in a library in Vancouver. It was absolutely, it was so surreal. And what happened was I was in the library, and I had to go to the uh, to the um, uh, to the printer in the in, in a library, and I left my computer. There's there's those signs all over the library saying, "Watch over your things because they're going to be stolen." 
right? If you don't watch over your stuff, you know, to prevent theft, right? Uh, you know, keep your personal possessions with you. Don't leave your personal possessions unattended. And in this particular library, there's a security guard. There's cameras all over the place. And there's, there was three, uh, approximately three or four staff members there. Very busy. And it was a, it was a small area. It wasn't a very big area. And I went to go to the printer, and I was having problems. Something was going on with the printer that I, I wasn't doing properly. And I, I, I asked the person at the counter, and the, the person at the counter said to, uh, you know, watch over your things. She said, in case someone steals them, there's people listening and hearing us. And I could see it. I could see my, the, my computer. I can see all my possessions where I am from uh, from the printer. Everybody can see it. And they're saying, watch over your things in case someone steals them. And it's a, um, it's a human, it's human programming of the, the brain of humanity saying, look, people are stealing and there's nothing we can do about it. And what they're actually doing is they're actually creating thieves. That's what that's doing. I was working in that library and the security guard was there and I had to step away from the computer for a while for, you know, not for, to, uh, uh, and, and um, what happened, I'll tell you what happened, okay, um, is I was, I, was, uh, I was seated facing the street and I was in Vancouver, I didn't see any street signs, there was other people parked there. But between 3 and 6 o'clock, it's a no parking zone because it's a bus route. It's a bus route. And what I did is I, I didn't realize it. So I'm, I'm here at the window. And all of a sudden, I see my truck in camper being towed. And I, I, I have to move right away. So I talked to the security guard who was right next to me. And I said, uh, can you watch over my things? He says, for how long? I said, maybe 20 minutes or so. I have to, I have to go. This is... I have something to attend to real quick. I have an emergency. And the security guard said, well, 20 minutes is a long time. That's exactly what he said. I just, I, I, I ran out of there. I, I, I got him. I, I tracked him down. And I ended up giving him a little bit of some, some money. And he released my, he released the truck and camper. And um, it's just, okay. So, um so that was done. I came back, and um, what happened? I started working on the report. I was working on the Two Pills report, the manuscript, which is released now. It's done, and uh, I'm going to actually be reading part of that for the people because I know people are interested in wanting to know this, and it's my duty uh, to read the, the last chapter. And as I was doing the manuscript, there was... A security person, surveillance person, who was speaking with the security guard, he came down from, from his office, came out from his office, and he said to me, he said, that is true. That's what he said. And he was taken from what the Holy Spirit, from what he saw written in the computer. Okay, They look in your computer. They know exactly what is going on in your computer. And what happened was I sent the manuscript to a publisher yesterday, and I just sent it. It was a publisher that I spoke with in uh, uh, 2017. It was just I wasn't ready yet. And um, then when I sent it out, I knew right away that information is released. Okay, Because the computer is really highly regulated. They see everything that's going inside your computer. That's why it's extremely important to keep a clean, spotless computer. Because it's the demons, they see what's in there, and they will, uh, a person will be judged according to the content that's in their computer. So the computer itself has to be completely spotless. And the person, if you go into the library, you'll see when you sign up, uh, when, you, when, you, when you hit the agree button and you, to, to get onto the internet, it'll say that um, there is um, the information will be shared in your computer. So it doesn't matter 
if if you have the share feature on in your computer, it doesn't matter what your settings are. They can look right into your computer. They can see exactly what you're doing. And they monitor the library is a is a prison monitoring place where they monitor everybody's behavior. They look inside all the computers, everything that you're doing, all the data, all the information that is that is that is being um, uh, going in and going out of the computer that is being stored in the computer whatever you're doing it's complete surveillance so I thought I would just speak regarding these issues these things are extremely important and um, the uh, the Holy Spirit is is showing that it is once again it is a um, it's a free-ranged martial law that we're going that we're, we're it's like all the information is being put into an algorithm in the computer system and is designed to completely uh, uh, imprison all humanity in the New World Order. And so the New World Order happens when the, all things are complete. When, when, when first they find how to control all humanity, then they... they um, then a new world order comes. You know, then then you know, everything has to be complete. They have to have complete rule before they completely implement it. And we can see how the progression is going uh, today through the warmongering that's going on. You see that the um, that Europe is controlling North America as a as the merchant city. They're using North America to cause war. That's what they're doing. And that's what the administration, the Little Horn administration in North America is doing. And because it's time. It's time. So that tells us where we are in the prophetic timeline. We are right at the close. So extremely exciting times to be working for the Lord. Extremely exciting times to be ministering the gospel. Extremely exciting times to be awake. And we need to be completely awake. So I think that's it for this video. I don't have much, I don't have any notes or anything. I have quite a few videos that I'd like to do. Uh, and uh, I would, uh, I'm going to end up reading part of the, of the manuscript. It's absolutely, it's just, it's amazing. Amazing what the Holy Spirit has revealed. So, God bless you all, in Jesus' name.